Today, I have a phenomenal video for you. I am gonna be interviewing James, who is a 16-year-old who is able to land a part-time job in digital marketing, working around 30 hours a week and making somewhere around $40,000 a year. And this really just shows how much opportunity there is in digital marketing. Even if you're 15, 16 years old, if your country allows it, if you have the skills, companies will hire you because the skills are so in demand. So you're definitely gonna wanna watch this one until the end. Go ahead, gently tap that like button and let's jump right into it. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna be interviewing somebody from from another country. Usually I interview people from the US, but uh, I'm going to be interviewing James. He's from Australia and he has one of the coolest stories because he was actually able to get a job in digital marketing at 16 years old. So thank you so much for coming on the channel, James. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks, Shane. Thanks for having me. Awesome. So uh, let's go ahead and just start at the beginning uh, for you to tell your story. So you're basically 16 years old. You can talk a little bit about your background. Uh, you discovered that maybe you want to go into digital marketing or maybe you were looking at different routes, but you ended up choosing digital marketing. So how did you do that? So, yeah, great question. So essentially, I think last year around in the beginning of 2021, uh, so when I was 15 years old, I knew that I wanted to start earning as money as soon as possible. And I didn't really want to go to college. And so, yeah, I guess I was just like researching high paying jobs in Australia that didn't require a degree. So I was kind of considering maybe plumbing or electrical apprenticeship and then working my way up and then eventually earning six figures because I heard that, um, you know, I heard great things about plumbing and how um, you can earn a great income, but um, you're better off like getting a high paying job uh, without a college degree and without getting a full year education and you know he mentioned Seth's course in the video how like um hundreds of students were able to get um high paying digital marketing jobs uh within three to six months and so yeah I was really intrigued by that and I thought digital marketing was really interesting and you know so I watched I remember watching him um signing up for his webinar and then after that like maybe three to four days after I purchased this course. And so essentially I went through the course to a T and I followed everything um, exact, to exactly what he said and to exactly what he taught in the course. And so I did, all, so I, um, you know, crafted my resume, you know, I was working on my interviewing skills and obviously I was definitely learning a lot about um, digital marketing, more specifically into Google, um, in Google ads. And so, yeah, uh, I think starting from the course to my first internship, I think it took around five to six months. And so I landed my first internship in September, um, 2021, and I stayed there for six months. And after leaving that company, I was job searching for two months. And then, you know, I landed for the two months, the three months actually. So I was job searching for three months and then I was able to land a job uh, this year in May. But how long did it take you to get that offer for the internship? But from the time that you started the course to the, the internship? Uh, it took me six months roughly. Six months. Wow. That's that's pretty good, especially, you know, for for a 16 year old just first looking for your job. Wait, were you were you 15 or were you 16 when you started the course? Uh, I was 15 at the time. So I started wow. the course at 15 and I landed my first job, uh, which was our first job offer that actually paid me, uh, which was this evening. And, you know, obviously in 2020, um, at the end of December 2021, I was I turned 16. But yeah, when I started the course, I was 15 years old. Wow. You first of all, that's just awesome in general that you're already thinking about your career at 15. And then the fact you're actually able to land a job as well, that is amazing. I, I'm pretty sure here in the US there's like labor laws and stuff where where they wouldn't let anybody do that. But it's cool that they they actually let you do that in Australia if you want to. Um, but yeah, that just shows how wide open digital marketing is. I mean, if you have the skills and you go through the process that Seth lays out in his course and you, and you really follow it to a T, you, like 
companies really need people who have these skill sets. So that that really just shows it right there. Um, yeah. So sure. so you you kind of you did the internship and then you were actually able to land. Uh, a paid position. I kind of wanted to talk about like, how was Seth's course? Like going through the course itself, how was it? Yeah, so essentially Seth's course um, told everything I needed. Uh, and I needed to first land my internship and to really um, learn the fundamentals of digital marketing. And so I really love uh, his assignments and like, you know, building our own mini website and running Google ads um, to our website to get experience, um, as well as teaching us how to um, get free or paid clients to, um, you know, build our portfolio and then show that to um, employees so that we can um, get our foot in the door uh, and land our foot strong. And so, yeah, essentially Seth's course was amazing. Uh, you know, there was a lot of guidance and support. Really loved the Facebook group as well. Um, you know, if you have any questions, you can just shoot, a, you can just post a, a question in the Facebook group and like a lot of people will be happy to answer your questions as well. And so, yeah, and Seth, uh, whenever I emailed him, he would always uh, reply, uh, reply to my questions as well. And so, yeah, Seth's course, um, you know, it was, it was uh, more than enough to uh, help me land my first job. And, and then, you know, during my six month, during the six month of the first company I worked at, I was able to leverage that experience to then land my second job. And so currently right now I'm getting paid uh, $48,000 per year. Um, on my car job so yes yeah, wow. definitely amazing. that that is awesome and then um you said that you're working i, I believe you're working part-time so you're working about 30 hours a week or so something like that correct yeah gotcha and um i kind of want to ask uh what did your parents think about you you know going off and buying some online course instead of going to college Did were your, were your parents supportive of this decision or were they skeptical no, they were always supportive to the very end. And, you know, I think I, 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 owe, I owe a lot of my success to my parents because they've just been so supportive. And I'm so lucky to you know, have supportive parents because I know a lot of Asian parents that like, you know, that, you know, force um, the kids to, you know, spend like hours every day, uh, you know, attending like, um, you know, tuition classes and everything and, you know, spending like thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars per year in tuition to get into a good uni. And, you know, I think, uh, especially in the Asian culture, like, you know, we're so ingrained uh, in, you know, we're so like, what do you call it? We're so like mind washed into the fact that, um, we have to go to college to succeed, but because my parents were able to see that, you know, there's like ugh, millions and millions of other options out there to um, get a high paying job, you know, they were very supportive and, you know, they were very supportive in everything I did. So yeah, my parents are just amazing. Hopeful. Yeah, that's really awesome that they're able to see that. And, and that's one of the most common uh, complaints that I get from people that, you know, my subscribers and stuff that watch the channel is their parents think that, you know, oh, you can't do this. You can't do that. You have to go to college. You have to be a, a lawyer or an engineer or a doctor or else you're a failure. Right. And, you know, that maybe that was true. Like you did have to go to college maybe in the, the 1970s, 1980s, 1990s. But eventually what happened is everybody started going to college and now it's, it doesn't really give you that much of an advantage anymore unless you go for like certain careers. Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, that's awesome that your parents were able to see that. So what would you say um, to somebody who is either thinking of going into digital marketing and what would you say in terms of like their personality? Are there certain personalities that do better in digital marketing? Yeah, I'd say in digital marketing, uh, obviously, number one, you have to be, uh, you have to be like, you have to have a good mindset, you have to have a positive mindset, and, 
you know, have a uh, no, never give up attitude as well, because like, obviously, you know, it's not like you can land a job within a month, you know, it takes a lot of consistency and hard work to land your first job and to really progress in your career. And you, and I'll say number two, you have to have, um, you have to be a really hungry learner because in order to really strive and excel within the digital marketing field, you always have to be constantly learning. And because like digital marketing is changing pretty much every day, every month, every year. And so, yeah, I'd say those are the two most important traits uh, a person needs to have if they do want to get into digital marketing. Because, you know, if you're just, if you're just going to be a stagnant learner where you just learn and, you know, your learning just never progresses afterwards, then I'd say it's not the right career um, choice for you. Because, like, digital marketing, um, you know, is an ever-changing um, industry and it is very important to always be learning um, new things every day. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And one of the reasons why, in my opinion, digital marketing is such a good career path and it's so safe is because of the fact that it changes all the time. You know, colleges absolutely cannot keep up with digital marketing. They're teaching stuff that worked like 10, 15, 20 years ago sometimes, and it just doesn't work anymore, right? Like this, this field is always changing. And so that's really like a barrier to entry uh, to, to colleges and all kinds of other different ways of getting into it. Because really, you know, like if you're keeping up to date on, on the newest trends and stuff like that, like I know a lot of digital marketers I talk to right now, they're really uh, excited about TikTok ads. Like TikTok ads are super hot right now. They're getting really good return on investment for their, their TikTok ads. And uh, yeah, so it, it's uh, really valuable. And that's one of the reasons why college doesn't really help you all that much if your goal is to become a digital marketer because if you look at like different marketing curriculum I mean you can look up the curriculum it's available the syllabuses are available out there they usually only teach you like you know two or three digital marketing classes whereas you know digital marketing is by far the best skill to learn in marketing right now all the companies are pivoting to digital marketing because they can actually measure their return on investment whereas if they have like a radio ad or a tv ad that's something you can't really measure, right? Yeah. So, yeah, so it's it's uh, it's very valuable skill for sure. Um, and then there's a lot of different uh, sort of avenues you can go down with digital marketing. There's like search engine optimization, uh, search engine marketing. You know, you got the Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Google pay per click. A lot of different routes you can go. So, what route did you choose to go, and why did you choose to go that route? So yeah, um, I'd say right now I'm heavily uh, focusing on search ads or Google search ads. So even within Google ads, there's like multiple routes you can go. You can like only focus on search ads um, or you can just, uh, just you know, general, you know um, maybe like run all sorts of campaigns. Um, either way, like in, in digital marketing, like you said, uh, there's like a lot of uh, uh, options, different options to choose from. And yeah, personally, I chose Google Ads just because like it just really clicked to me and I was just like, I was just most familiar with it. And it was the most enjoyable um, to learn as well. And so, yeah, that's why um, I chose Google Ads. Uh, but in my current job, I'm not, I am managing a little bit of Facebook ads as well. But yeah, I'm definitely 90% of my focus right now is on Google ads so far. So what would you say to the people who are watching this video right now? They're thinking about getting into digital marketing. They're really interested in it. And they're wondering whether or not they should take Seth's course, right? They're maybe on their fence. They're like, ah, I don't know if I want to uh, buy this course or not and take the course. What would you say to those people? So if you, let's say like maybe you've, watched a lot of sets of uh, YouTube videos and watched his um, success stories, but you're still on the fence and, but you really want to, uh, you know, get your foot into digital marketing. I'd say the first step is to just get started. You know, at the end of the day, it's just that taking that first step and that leap of courage. And so that would be my best advice is just to get started. And I can promise you that 
if you do follow Seth's course to T, and if you follow everything he says, then you will land a job in no time. And you just have to um, be consistent and constantly um, growing. So yeah, I'll say my number one advice would just be to get started, take that first step. Yeah, and one thing I kind of wanted to mention is, you know, like a lot of boot camps out there, right? This is actually something I'm researching right now because I got a bunch of requests to do videos on boot camps. So, you know, you've got these like digital marketing boot camps out there. And first of all, a lot of them charge like $15,000 plus. And then I went to research these boot camps and I'm looking for testimonials and reviews. And there's like no testimonials. There's no actual like interviews with people. I'm like, you have a $15,000 product and there's no testimonials. And then you go ahead and, oh, and, and the testimonials the, that they do have are just like a picture of the person's head with their first name and a quote. I mean, that could have literally yeah, been an just, exit survey. That could have just been an exit survey, right? Yeah, like, sure. like, it's not even somebody saying like, I really like this. It's just like an exit survey. Like, oh, uh, what did you like about our boot camp, and what did you not like, right? So it's just like, there's no really good reviews and testimonials. Then you go and look at Seth's Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, and his YouTube channel. And he's literally got thousands of reviews and testimonials. And these are people you can, you know, there's a bunch of videos you can actually watch where he goes back and forth, asks them a bunch of questions. Um, there are also people you can usually look them up on LinkedIn, and most of them are very happy to talk to you. Um, I mean, it's just, it's very obvious that this course just works, right? There's like an abundance of evidence that it works. And like a lot of these boot camps that are $15,000, like way more expensive than Seth's course, there's like no evidence that they're actually getting people jobs, which just blows my mind. I, 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 I can't believe that. It really, I, I don't know if the boot camps either aren't getting people jobs or they're just really bad at marketing themselves, which is a little bit ironic since it's a digital marketing boot camp, but but yeah, it's uh, it's really funny. Did you actually did you look into any of the boot camps when you were looking into your options? No, I didn't really look into boot camps. I just thought they were like a waste of time and really a waste of money as well. And you know, like you said, you know, Seth's course has thousands of testimonials and reviews, and these are actual legit um, testimonials. People that actually um, got jobs. And so it's like so many success stories and, you know, it's just been, it's been working for like, you know, for many years and, you know, none of the boot camps and colleges have as, have that many success stories as Seth's course. And so, yeah, um, I did actually look at some, um, you know, marketing degrees, but like, they were like, not only were they like over 30 grand, but they have like literally zero to um, no testimonials. And, you know, it's just a lot of BS overall. And I think, yeah, um, boot camps and marketing degrees are just not worth it. Yeah, I, I, would, I would have to agree with you there for sure, for sure. Um, I was talking to Seth the other day and I told him he might be the single human being on the planet that's created more digital marketers than any other person because he's probably created like thousands and thousands of digital marketers at this point so he's probably responsible for getting more people digital marketing jobs than any other human being on the planet which is which is pretty cool to think about so you know yeah it's a it's a great option um, if digital marketing is for you if you decide that's a career for you uh, highly recommend Seth's course he does have a free master class James was just talking about that um, it's about three hours or so. I went through the masterclass. It was super helpful. I know digital marketing can be a little bit confusing because there's a lot of different like avenues you can go and some of them are better for some people and some of them are better for others. So if you're confused about that or you just want to check out what the course entails, I will link that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So definitely check that out. And James, thank you so much for coming on the channel. I really appreciate it. You are an absolute rock star to be able to get a job at 16. Super, super awesome story. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be inspired by it. Um, so thank you so much for coming on again. Yeah, Shane. Yeah, thanks so much, Shane, for having me today. Really appreciate it.